Hello and welcome. In this video, what I'm going to do is uh, just change out a couple themes. I'm going to um, put on the Genesis theme framework and some child themes and just give you an idea of what's possible with the dealer trend inventory plugin. So currently I just have the 2010 theme up, which is the out of the box WordPress theme. I'll go ahead and select new cars. And once I've done that, you'll notice I go to the a, a page of new cars. Um, as I scroll down, you'll see it's uh, just alphabetical. This uh, the inventory I have here is pretty extensive. Um, if I go to a an, a vehicle listing page, you see the type of content that'll be here. Okay, um, all, as many pictures as you want on this particular theme. We've got the breadcrumb trail, um, the prices, it, pretty much all the information that somebody would want. Um, as long as it's coming in on the inventory feed, of course. So with that, now I'm going to go to the back end. Actually, let's go back up to new while I do that. And we're going to go into themes. And I've already uploaded a few themes. Okay, so I've got the 2010 theme. Um, if you've looked at some of my other videos, I've been using the Busy Bee theme a little bit. In this case, what I want to do is activate the Genesis framework. This is the Studio Press um, framework. And then I've got a couple of Genesis themes there. So we activate that first, so the framework has been put in place. And then we'll go ahead and do the Crystal Child theme. Um, once that's in place, and we'll go back and refresh the site. This will take just a moment. Okay, so now we've got a new look. Um, you'll see a little different type of um, a little narrower header. You can upload logos with, with the Genesis frameworks um, or Gen Genesis child themes, uh, which is kind of nice. You can pretty much do anything you want at the top. Um, you'll see the, the, the menu bar is a little bit different. I believe this one has a top menu as well. We go into the appearance menus and once I've done that it does have a secondary menu as well so there's a, a primary and a secondary um, we can do that if we wanted to okay so a lot of different choices with that now let's go back and change that well, theme again I'll go to the home page and show you the way this this home page lays out too while I'm waiting for the this particular theme has a slideshow area it has um, the bottom widgets and then you can drop in pretty much anything you want into these they could be YouTube videos they could be pictures uh, pretty simple to use what I'm going to do now let's go into the back let's do the magazine theme it's kind of an interesting look especially for a car dealer site okay and once that updates we'll go back to the site and we'll refresh okay so you'll see the a different type of layout on this one um, you'll notice the menu I, the, the menu bar has disappeared on me and the reason for that is this probably has a different naming convention or a different setup for the menus so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back where we just were under menus and we're going to just select the uh, primary navigation here and hit save because this is my menu that over here it's primary navigation I'm going to save that and refresh Okay, so now here are my pages, my used cars and new cars. Okay, so you see how that looks on this particular site. Um, pretty much works for every theme, nice and clean. And voila, you've got, um, you can make a, a car dealer site as easy as that. Enjoy the plugin.